Hey there, New Mexico. Good morning. Well, the heat just continues. Right now, they're in the middle of the street. This door is now boarded shut up top. Those windows above have cracks in them. They knew exactly where to kick the door. Check this out. Miles into their joyride, the passenger actually realizes they're being followed. Albuquerque's Holly Holm is going to return to the cage tonight as the UFC's main event. We're bringing you the very latest, what you need to know about this blade. We just got the phone call a few minutes ago. We've heard a lot of saws going off. We've seen fire crews going in and out of the hospital. Those text messages look like this. They are very personalized. Stephen Casals, the man who police say took part in beating and killing nine-year-old Amari Varela two years ago, will be sentenced today. Spring break is right around the corner, and while a lot of people typically go out of state for the vacation, you might just want to stay here in New Mexico. Every time I see you, we're always saying, this is the worst one we've seen. Yeah. I mean, if you guys remember the story about Cubs, Susan here taking us over to the pilot's briefing right now. Early Monday morning, people in these southwest Albuquerque townhouses were just waking up, headed off to work, when all of a sudden, chaos on a nearby rooftop. I was actually just reading a book to my son on the couch, and next thing you know, I see a guy on the roof without a shirt. Neighbors here say at first, they thought it was the dumpster slamming shut. But then that loud noise happened over and over again. After that, I knew it had to be something else, but um, it just... It was just a normal gunshot couple, about eight of them. Lopez and his small son took cover while police took cover too. He did shoot, he did fire once while our officers were on scene. Within just a few hours, officers talked 34 year old Gregory Gallegos into giving up peacefully. He climbed down this ladder. We never really got why he was on top of the roof other than he thought people were after him. Police say he's a convicted felon who shouldn't have had a gun in the first place. What happened today? Tell us what happened. Gallegos is now charged with negligent use and possession of a firearm. His case will now be handed off to federal officials. New Mexico State Police and Albuquerque Police admit they are backlogged when it comes to processing rape kits. These documents show over the last eight years, Albuquerque alone has collected 1,182 rape kits, but they've only processed about 347 of them. APD says there's a number of reasons for this. They say in a lot of cases, the victim decides not to prosecute his or her offender, so they drop the charges. In some circumstances, there just isn't enough evidence to take to court, but APD admits they also just don't have the time to process a lot of these cases at their lab, nor do they have the manpower to get to every single one. Do we have as many resources as we like? No. What does that take? Money. Law enforcement agencies statewide are telling a similar story. It's not fair. It's inexcusable. That's why the New Mexico Coalition of Sexual Assault Programs is speaking up yet again, making a case to take to the Capitol. You have to realize that there's a person behind that kit. They say our state legislators can do something to fix this backlog problem by one, investing more money in sex assault prevention programs, and two, by creating strict guidelines on how police departments investigate and handle evidence because right now there aren't any ready Maria strike reflex good job Maria deep breaths stability grab my shoulders knees and balance jab to the head jab to the body cross are good. all things cross, Maria cross. Duet and David Glidden struggle with every day Good. They're in the fight of their life, trying to stay in the ring against an undefeated opponent, Parkinson's, a degenerative disorder that attacks the central nervous system. It causes tremors, difficulty walking, slowness. It's a very debilitating disease. But now these two are fighting back. One, two, three. Four, good. One punch at a time. Several recent studies show boxing actually helps people with Parkinson's regain their strength and take back control. Doctors say the exercises required to box work a person's agility, endurance, and flexibility. All things Dway and Glidden need to focus on. I'll stretch them. I'll do different exercises uh, to help strengthen and give them stability. And then also, I'll do different things to work their body unilaterally, meaning I'll have them multitasking where one side is doing something different than the other side. It gives you some relief. Dway and Glidden say the new therapy go, David, go, go, go. seems to be working. It made me stronger. Definitely. It's something they'd recommend to others who need the same fighting chance during this Parkinson's Awareness Month. There is still so much hope to bring Dylan home. We've seen several cars out on the road, window chalk talking about justice for Dylan and several signs around town like this one. 
Ask anyone near Bayfield or Vallecito Lake, Colorado. Everybody loved him and everybody knew him. They'll tell you just how much they loved Dylan Redwine. It still puts a smile on my face just thinking about him. But no one remembers Dylan like his two best friends. And he just brotherly relationship. They remember swimming together. River. The river. They remember grabbing pizza together. He was, he was a little crazy. But for the last four years, Ryan Nava and Wesley Herring remember most the day Dylan disappeared and the day law enforcement confirmed Dylan died. It's 6, 26, 13. Now these two up and coming high school seniors and the rest of the town want to know what happened to Dylan. Who killed him? How? Why? I want justice. Ju we just want, you know an answer or two. Now they may get answers. This sign signifies exactly where Middle Mountain Road is closed. We're told a little bit further up the mountain is where the La Plata County Sheriff's Office is looking for new clues in that Dylan Redwine disappearance, an area they've never searched before. They say they'll be done on Monday. Officials say go ahead and spray away. Tiffany and several other people were so outraged by this video, they actually got in their cars and headed to the scene. Well, apparently the ball's already rolling on a celebration, so we'll keep you updated on that. Thank you so much for joining Thanks us. For we appreciate me. it. Have a great Sunday, you guys.